Welcome to our channel. Before we dive into today's topic, please remember to subscribe for more insightful content. Today, we're examining Prince William's perceived lack of responsibility and its potential repercussions for the monarchy. As the future king, William is expected to embody leadership and dedication. However, there seems to be a growing concern regarding his avoidance of royal duties, often citing personal and family health issues as reasons. With the throne in his future, William's actions are under intense scrutiny. Let's explore why. Imagine having the responsibility of a nation on your shoulders and choosing a garden party instead. In the intricate tapestry of royal duties, Prince William's pattern of avoidance has begun to stand out, particularly through his use of family health issues as excuses. Take, for instance, the time when his father was undergoing a minor surgery. Instead of stepping into the limelight to fulfill his royal obligations, William was spotted at a high-profile celebrity gala, mingling and laughing, seemingly unburdened by the responsibilities awaiting him at home. This event alone sparked a flurry of headlines, questioning his commitment to his royal duties. Then there was the instance when his wife was reported to be unwell, needing rest and care. The nation expected William to perhaps lighten his public engagements. Instead, he embarked on a leisure trip to a renowned sports event, leaving the public and media puzzled. His choice to attend such a gathering at a time when his presence might have been more reassuring at his wife's side painted a picture of a prince caught up in his own interests. These instances are not mere coincidences, but seem to form a recurring theme. Each time there's a slight hiccup in his immediate family's health, William appears to find a social event that demands his urgent attention. This pattern has not only affected the public's perception, but has also reportedly caused ripples within the royal family itself. Concerns have been whispered about his readiness to assume the crown when his turn comes, if his current record of responsibilities is anything to go by. Moreover, such actions have broader implications. They not only question his personal commitment, but also subtly undermine the image of the monarchy as a steadfast institution. In a role that demands constant public scrutiny and unwavering duty, each absence is noted and each choice scrutinized. While everyone deserves personal time, the timing and frequency of William's absences have raised eyebrows. Not emotionally ready? Let's unpack what this means for a future king. When the news broke that William declared he was not emotionally ready to shoulder more royal responsibilities, it set off ripples of concern across the nation. The role of a monarch is not just ceremonial. It embodies the spirit and stability of the country. At its core, this role demands resilience and a readiness to serve, regardless of personal challenges. William's admission is unusual within the royal context. Historically, members of the royal family are perceived as steadfast, their personal feelings cloaked beneath a veneer of duty and decorum. His candidness about emotional readiness, or the lack thereof, introduces a new, more human facet to the monarchy. However, it also invites scrutiny about his suitability as a future king. Consider the implications of a leader who professes to be unprepared for more responsibility. In times of national crisis or significant events, the monarchy acts as a cornerstone of stability and continuity. If a future monarch is openly hesitant to embrace his roles, it could potentially erode public confidence in the monarchy's ability to lead and inspire. Furthermore, William's reluctance might be seen as a reflection of broader societal issues. Yet, one must question whether personal emotional readiness should be publicly negotiated in the realm of royal duties. The monarchy, after all, is built on the expectation of unwavering duty and sacrifice. William's position necessitates a balance between personal authenticity and the traditional stoicism associated with royal duty. Leadership often requires pushing through personal barriers. Is William's reluctance a red flag? As we delve deeper into this discussion, it becomes clear that the monarchy's future might hinge on how well its leaders can balance personal honesty with the age-old ethos of royal duty. The question remains, can William navigate this delicate balance, or will his emotional readiness continue to be a point of contention? From royal balls to exclusive gatherings, the allure of high society events seems irresistible to William. While the sparkle of champagne flutes and the murmur of well-heeled conversations may be enchanting, one cannot help but ponder the impact of such indulgences on William's royal duties. As someone destined to one day wear the crown, the expectation is that he would prioritize the needs of the monarchy over personal pleasures. Yet, 
Time and time again, we see a pattern where galas and glamorous weekends take precedence over pressing national and familial obligations. It's not just about attending a party here and there. It's a consistent choice that speaks volumes about his priorities. This preference for the glittering social scene over the grittier aspects of royal responsibility raises questions about his readiness and willingness to lead. Consider this. While royal duties often involve intricate planning and are not without their stresses, they are crucial for the stability and continuity of the monarchy. These responsibilities are not just traditional but are fundamental in maintaining the public's trust and respect in the institution. However, William's frequent sightings at social events, often during times when his presence was needed elsewhere, suggest a disconnect between his personal desires and his professional obligations. Moreover, this behavior fits into a broader context where the balance between personal life and public duty has always been a tightrope walk for royals. Yet in the case of William, the scale seems to tip unusually often towards personal indulgence. It's a trend that not only frustrates those within the royal circles, but also begins to erode the public's perception of his capability to fulfill his future role as king. Choosing pleasure over duty, what message does this send about William's priorities? It portrays him not as a future leader prepared to sacrifice for the greater good, but as a high-profile figure caught up in the allure of elite social circles, potentially at the cost of his royal obligations and the respect of those he is meant to one day lead. With every action, a future king shapes his reign. What future is William crafting? As we delve into the ongoing narrative of a would-be king seemingly reluctant to embrace his destined role, one can't help but ponder the broader implications of his actions, or lack thereof, on the future of the monarchy. William's persistent avoidance of royal duties, coupled with a penchant for prioritizing personal indulgences, is not just a fleeting scandal, it's a harbinger of potential seismic shifts within one of the world's oldest institutions. The monarchy, steeped in centuries of tradition, has always had to adapt to the changing tides of public opinion and political landscapes. However, the role of the monarchy in modern society has increasingly come under scrutiny. As the public becomes more attuned to the values of accountability and transparency, the actions of a future monarch are more critical than ever. If the future king appears disengaged and unprepared, what message does that send about the relevance of the monarchy itself? Consider the delicate balance the royal family must maintain. On one hand, they are expected to uphold traditions that underscore the continuity and stability of the state. On the other, they must remain sufficiently adaptable and responsive to the needs and sentiments of a diverse and changing populace. William's current trajectory could be seen as a neglect of these unspoken duties, potentially alienating those who see the monarchy as an outdated relic, rather than a living symbol of national unity. Moreover, William's apparent reluctance to fully commit to his royal responsibilities might set a precedent for future generations. How will his actions influence the royal work ethic and public expectations of his own offspring and their approach to duty? It's a ripple effect that could either modernize the monarchy or marginalize it, depending on public perception and royal responses. In a world where leadership is not just inherited but must be constantly affirmed in the public eye, the monarchy's survival may hinge on its ability to resonate with the populace. A leader's personal indulgences and visible detachment could foster a sense of disillusionment, prompting calls for a re-evaluation of the monarchy's role in a democratic society. As the monarchy stands at a crossroads, the weight of tradition and modernity hangs in balance. Will the crown adapt and evolve, or will it stubbornly cling to the vestiges of its past glory, potentially hastening its slide into obsolescence? The actions of Prince William and his readiness to embody the gravitas of his future role are not just personal choices, but decisions that will shape the monarchy for decades to come. Thank you for joining us as we delved into this pressing issue. Today we've explored the troubling pattern of avoidance and lack of responsibility exhibited by Prince William, despite his pivotal role within the monarchy. From dodging duties to using personal and family health as excuses, his actions raise serious questions about his suitability for future kingship, his reluctance to embrace the full spectrum of his responsibilities, opting instead for personal indulgence, highlights a significant shortfall in the leadership so crucial for a figure of his stature. As the future of the monarchy looms ahead, the necessity for a leader who is not only present, but also profoundly committed to the ethos of service and duty, cannot be overstated. 
it is imperative for the stability and integrity of the monarchy that its leaders display the maturity and dedication expected of their high office. If you found this video informative, please subscribe, like and share. Stay curious and goodbye.